Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Hey, um, we did another video a while back about theming your practice sessions. A uh, suggestion to um, try on a different theme uh, to um, help you focus on one or, or more areas of your um, Tai Chi. Um, I thought I'd actually demonstrate myself doing that a little bit today. You can see our all-weather Tai Chi has gone from snow and cold to nice and balmy. Here it is in the middle of January and it's in the 50s. So strange weather this year. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is um, a form that we call Section 7. Um, we have a six-section uh, long form, a solo form, and then we have a partner form that we call Section 7 and 8, or just 7 and 8. And um, these are um, 45 movement sets that interlace and form a partner set that you do with another person, but they can also be done solo. And they're, um, they're really great uh, forms to do uh, in this themed practice kind of way because they're short and they're, and they're um, a moderate paced or fast paced set. Um, they're meant to make your Tai Chi a little bit more mobile and flexible and adaptable and not so linked into the big slow stances and the big movements. It's a little closer to how you'd be if you were sparring. It's like an intermediary form set between solo form and, and more active, less predictable sparring kind of stuff. Um, so um, I'm going to do section seven a number of different ways. It's not a long form, so you'll see it'll go fairly fast. And I'll just show you what my some of my themes look like. So the first way I'm going to do it is very uh, posture conscious, what I call bone level practice, making sure that each position is, is solid and good. And I'll even pause a little bit to make sure at each position. So it's a little bit um, stiff, you'll see. It's a little bit rigid, but it's, it's trying to almost do like a textbook picture of each position and form. So section seven with attention to posture. So now I'm going to do it with attention to just extreme softness, just going as soft and relaxed and empty and tensionless as I can be and still stay in the position. So I'm obviously not going to let my relaxation crumple my posture. I'm going to keep posture but focus more on softness, ease, flow through the movements. Working more really on more what I call a muscle level of work rather than thinking about where my bones are. I'm thinking about the qualities of the muscles. So we'll try that.
So you can see less, a little bit less posture conscious, a little more just focusing on relaxing and softening through the movements. Um, now I'm going to do it one of my very favorite ways to do it, which is kind of like combining uh, muscle work and bone level, like good posture and also softness. And this is to do it as though there's almost a little bit of resistance, almost as though I'm doing it with wires on or not wires, uh, like elastic straps around my body and I want to feel some of this elastic quality in the muscles and bones. And um, it ends up being more spirally, almost like I'm just getting resistance everywhere I go and I want to meet that resistance with as little force as I can, but I still have to come up with some energy because it's not super, super soft. So it's kind of a blend of the two. It's one of my favorite ways to do it. So you can see it's kind of smooth, working on smoothness and connections and just feeling like there's a little bit of a, a little bit of resistance there instead of just there. Um, now I'm going to do a, a, a slow version emphasizing the waist. So this is a version I do sometimes when I just really want to feel like I'm, I'm really focusing on the turning and the, and the core and the dantian and the waist. So I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit, almost to the point of maybe looking a little silly. We'll see what happens.
can see, just focusing a little more on making the, instead of just step aside. No, oh, I'm going to go way over here. Word of caution on that one, when you're emphasizing big waist turns, whichever elbow's moving behind you, watch out for the opposite knee. That opposite knee wants to follow, come along for the ride, don't let it. So if I'm here and I turn way over here like this, I've really got to watch out because this doesn't do that. So that's a pitfall of working on the waist too much. If you go too far, you might mess with that opposite knee, so be careful of that. Okay, now I'm going to do it um, faster, condensed, slower, and not slower, uh, faster, more condensed, and with more attention on issuing energy. So I'm going to focus more on the strikes and less on the inside. So we'll see what happens. Time just for fun, I'm gonna do it drunken style. So I'm gonna try to stay off balance, appearing, but actually be in balance. The whole idea is that you hide your coiling and you hide your strength in seemingly less coherent, more stumbly, drunken moves. It's a great theme to work on your grounding because you're purposely going out of the, out of the edges or perimeters of the typical form that helps you learn this. See, the form helps you learn it. But once you know it, you can bend that form in a million different ways, as long as you don't violate principles. So let's try drunken stuff. <laughs> Had to do this first. So that one turns out different every time, so I just can play with it. So uh, it's a fun thing to do, especially if you have a shorter form, a little bit faster form like this, but you can do it with uh, any form or any section of a form. Try on different things and theme your practice according to 
the area you want to focus on. Um, sometimes I like to do a form with just tension on the wrists, just wrists and palms and making sure those are loose and connected and express every movement of my body or sometimes I just concentrate on the feet, the foot surface on the ground. We're making sure that every movement is really coming from my legs and really focusing on this piston power down here. Other times really focusing in here. Other times on the elbows or the shoulders and maintaining the more upright spine. So many different things you can do. So what I just did now was for structure, softness, combining the two into kind of a slightly uh, resistant spirally in between structure and softness. Um, I did it um, a little bit slower with emphasis on waist movements. Then I did it um, a little bit uh, faster with shorter, more energy orienting strikes. And then I did it uh, drunken style. So we got all these different ways of doing it. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you like this kind of thing, subscribe to my channel. Visit jeanburnett.com. Have a nice day.